page 667, number 23. Sketch the circle, identify its center and radius. Well, first of all, we know that this is a circle because we have both x squared and y squared, and the stretch in the x squared and y, dire y squared direction is the same. So we know it's going to be a circle. So let's start by completing the square. So let's put all the x terms together, x squared plus 4x, and we'll leave a space. Then we'll get all the y terms together, plus y squared, plus 4y, and then let's take that minus 1 and move it to the right-hand side, and we'll say equals 1. Now, well, first of all, this is a plus 4y. What we need to do is complete the square for each of these. Well, to complete the square, first of all, we have to make sure we have 1x squared, which we do. Then the method we use is to take half of this number right here, which is 2, and square that, which gives us 4. And to keep things balanced, we have to add 4 to the right-hand side as well. Likewise, we can complete the square for our y's by taking half of this value, which is 2, and squaring it. So we'll put plus 4 here, and on the right-hand side to keep things balanced. So now, these three terms right here can be factored as x plus 2 times x plus 2, which I can write as x plus 2 squared. Plus, these three terms can be factored as y plus 2 times y plus 2. So I can write it as y plus 2 squared equals, let's combine these three to make it equal 9. So right there is our standard form of a circle. The center is at negative 2, negative 2, and the radius is 3. So let's just write that the center is at negative 2, negative 2. The radius of this circle is 3 units. And let's make a sketch of this. So I'll get my x and y axes over here center negative 2 and negative 2 and the radius is 3 so if I go 3 units in each direction I can sketch my circle let's try to make a rough sketch of that circle going through those points and there's a very rough sketch of that circle with center negative 2 negative 2 and radius 3